Hi, in this video, I will show you how to create a new component in MATLAB Simulink in Simscape library. To demonstrate this, I will show you how to make a nonlinear resistor with this equation. And after that, in order to check the performance of our model, I'm going to make a simple simulation like this circuit for a specific parameters of C equal to zero, K one and alpha two. Basically, we are going to create a model like this and then we see how the model performs. Now, this circuit is very simple. We can also analyze it analytically. We write KVL, this is the equation. You solve the equation and eventually we have I is equal to this value. We notice that if Vn is sufficiently negative, uh, we have a negative number under the square root, so we cannot find the real value for I. Uh, if you run the simulation under this condition, the simulation cannot find an answer and you will receive an error. Even if this is a positive number, still you notice that i has two solutions so basically the solution of this circuit is not unique so when you perform the simulation depending on the initial error in the numerical solution uh, one of these solutions will be chosen and then it will continue that trend now if you want to have a unique solution you must provide initial condition for the circuit for example the current of this resistor at certain point of time you have to assign what is that current and based on that, the solution can be uniquely identified. And from that moment onward, actually the solution will follow that trend. So these are basically important points to notice when you want to create a new component, because sometimes the answer is not unique. Sometimes the condition of the circuit is so that you do not have an answer for that circuit. So you want to avoid these scenarios when you create a model, because you don't want to have a model that does not have solution and you implement it into a complex circuit. And then you don't know where the error comes from. Anyway, so let's see how to create the model. All right, so the first step is to create a folder, and then we are going to add the folder into the MATLAB search path so that uh, MATLAB can search all the files that are within this folder. So click here, save, save. This is OK. The next step is to create a new component. So here, basically, you click on a library browser. This is a new Simulink model. And then you come here to Simscape Utility. And then here, Simscape Component. You bring it here. Now, here we have two tasks. First is to create a picture for this model. And second is to write the code for this model. Now, making the picture is not mandatory. But in case you want to use this component in a complex circuit, and maybe you have multiple new components, it's better that uh, we make a picture so that we can identify uh, what each component is. OK, so to create a picture, this is very simple. First, you draw the picture. So here I draw the picture in Visio. So I copy it. OK, then I go to here. I already copied it, but you can copy it here. And then you right click on it, save as. And then here you can select SVG or PNG, and you can name it, for example. Nonlinear resistor number zero. And then we save it. So here basically we have the picture of our model. Okay, so now we are going to create the code for this component. So in order to create the code, either you should completely know the programming of uh, Simscape components, or you can use existing components and basically uh, change the source code of those existing components to create your new component. So in order to do that, uh, we are going to search components that are very similar to what we want to make. Uh, in this case, let's search for a resistor. Resistor. OK, so this is a resistor. Also, I'm going to bring another one. This is a varistor. OK, now I have these things. If I double click on the resistor, here is the setting. And if you go to description, you notice that there is a source code. So this is resistor V is equal IR, normal resistor. If you click on the source code, Basically, this describes the components that we have. Now, we have to modify this one in order to create our own nonlinear resistor. Now, there are some components in MATLAB that, you know, this is the varistor, basically. And if you come to setting, it has a very similar equation to what we want to make. So we would like to have the source code for this component so that we could easily change it to make uh, our own component. However, MATLAB does not share the source code of all of these components. So unfortunately, we do not have access to that. But it doesn't matter because we can create any components we want at the end of this video. So basically, these components, yes, they are not available. 
when we close it, I just wanted to show you. We have to work with uh, the components that uh, we can see the source code. In this case, the resistor. Okay. Basically, here is the component. This first part is the description, uh, something that you see here. And then uh, this is the parameters. And these are the equations. The equations basically will solve at the same time. So if you have 10 equations here, they will solve at the same time. They are not consecutive one, like normal M5. Okay, now we are going to create the, the code for the component that we want. Let me, I move these things away. For us, V is equal to a constant multiplied to I power alpha plus another constant. And, uh, okay, so we don't have R, so I can delete this. One thing that is very important is that the dimension of these two sides has to be equal. And because here we have power alpha, then it's a little bit difficult to create the dimensions equal. So what we are going to do is to create an I reference. Okay, so this is I reference, power alpha. And here also I'm going to create V reference. Okay. So I will define the dimension of this V reference voltage. So voltage divided by voltage is 1. Dimension of K is 1. Dimension of alpha 1, C1. And this I reference is also amp. So amp divided by amp is 1. So the dimension will be satisfied. So this is our equation. And here in parameters, we have to define all these parameters that we have. So for example, I reference it's one and then the dimension is amp and this is the description we can remove it and then here we need to create the other one so for example here is v reference is volt and here we have uh, for example k is one dimension is one and then alpha is also one and then c is also one and this intermediate part can go away. So basically, we have uh, I reference, V reference, K, and uh, alpha and C. Now here, we could also write uh, K time I over alpha plus a constant. And then this is a resistor. Let's say, yeah, it's basically something like that. Anyway, the description, you can fix it later. And now the name of these components, let's say with the same name, LN nonlinear resistor number zero, and I'm going to save it to NL resistor zero. Code is created, the picture is also created. Let's open the model. What we can do if I double click on this, so here is setting, here is description. If you click on here, you can actually load this one. And if you, everything is okay, then basically you have the description here. And if you go to setting, you will see all of these parameters that appear here. Okay, this is good. Now there is one thing, and that is uh, I don't want this I reference and V reference to appear here because this one we wanted to have uh, for dimension correction, and the value is always one. So I go back to this code, and maybe I move these two to another set of parameter and then access so access is private and then there is and so in this case these two parameters will not be accessible to the user it's basically only for us so let us go back to here again let's load this and see if we have it correct. So you notice that now the user can only change these parameters and uh, these reference parameters are not accessible, let's say. Okay, basically this is how we create the model. Now, if the picture is not very visible, you can adjust it to create a size. So this is good. Yeah, basically this is how you can create a, a model for a component. Now let's do the simulation that I explained at the beginning of the video. All right, so now I have created this model. This is our nonlinear resistor. We have to set parameter. K is 1, alpha 2, C maybe 0. And then this resistor, I put a very small value, so 1 milliohm. 
basically to make sure that all the voltage would drop over our new components and in that case we can compare its voltage and current together very easily and here we apply a ramp we measure the current and also we measure the voltage across this resistor all right so let's run the simulation okay so this is basically the answer uh, as i said since this resistor is very small uh, all the voltage drops over the resistor so this is the input voltage over the resistor and then this is the current through the resistor which is basically a square root of the voltage in this case because the other one has a very little impact and you notice that here when the voltage is 4 volts the current is 2 amps so that is correct now you notice that the current is positive but we said that actually this circuit has two answers current could also be negative and still current power 2 will give us exactly the same voltage in this case so if you want to obtain other answers basically we can assign initial conditions so now if i double click on this resistor and go to initial target so for example current and then let's say now it's none if i select a value uh, for the current for example minus uh, tenth of amp and set the priority high in that case the simulation tries to fulfill this uh, initial condition now obviously when time is equal to zero input voltage is zero so current is also very close to zero but that very close to zero can be a slightly positive or a slightly negative close to zero so when we set a negative value here the initial current it cannot match this initial value but it will start to select the solution that goes toward the negative so let's see what happens if we change this and now in this case you notice that the current it goes to negative so both of them they are correct answer depending on the initial condition you can basically achieve one of them now this is how you can create a new component and uh, basically perform the simulation and assign initial condition to ensure a unique solution sometimes you do not have a clear equation for your component but you have a table that relates two parameters together and you want to describe that component using that table so i'm going to show you how to do that and in this example, basically we create again this nonlinear resistor, but the parameters are fixed. So K is one, C is zero. Basically, we have a, a nonlinear resistor that V is equal to I2. And I know the table for this V is equal to I2. And let's see how to create that one. So this one, I already created it uh, before. So I come here. And then if you come here, this is, for example, I think it's this one. Okay, so let's see how this component works. So this is the description again. And here I have VD and ID. So VD is the values, dimension is volt, ID is the values again, dimension is amperes. So for example, for uh, zero, we have zero volt. For half an amp, we have half an amp power two, 0 0.25. For one amp, we have one, two, four, three, nine and so on and for negative number is also the same so v is equal to i2 and then we can use a lookup table here's the command so basically v will be related to i based on these two parameters so id and vd which we given the table here and then for the interpolation you can use different methods so for example smooth interpolation and for extrapolation after the endpoint Here's the nearest uh, point is selected. You can select other options. If you check lookup table command in uh, internet, you will see what options are available. Okay, so now I have this component. Let's load this component into this simulation. So we come here, then I go here, one, component one. Now, because I don't have the picture for this component, then you see that there is no picture here. I could also add the picture in that folder and then uh, you could see it. Let's run the simulation again. Now, basically, this will be the input voltage and this is the current through the uh, component based on that nonlinear relation. All right, so this is how you can create a new components either with equation or with a table in MATLAB Simulink in Simscape library. See you next time. Bye.